Okay, so it's time for another two men, and after that, rather disappointing encounter with the uh, um, Red Wing Infector, we are here again and kept a two lander, but it had into the Royal Contagion class and two cancels if I just draw a land. So I feel that's good enough. So our opponent is mono red. That's just a this is a land, I guess. Yeah. Mono red is not the best of matchups. Um, at least not uh, pre pre board. Because they can come out swing, swinging so so hard that you have no chance of keeping up, especially if they get the nuts. In this case, it wasn't the nuts, so I think I can survive quite a long time against this kind of onslaught. Um, I'm going to play this tumble magnet. Uh, a 1 1 goblin guide isn't going to be all that threatening. Threatening, And if he's going to play something that's going to be bad for me, it's going, it, it, it'll have to be uh, like uh, War Chief, uh, what's it called? The Goblin Lord. It's kind of bad, but not. Awful, and now that we've got um, we've got humble magnet contagion fast into the royal, we've got all these spells to keeping locked out of this, and at being at 16 lives when we shall I say, I'm not going to say that it's stabilized, but being at 16 is most likely going to be good enough. Furnace Camp. Um, I don't really care about that. Uh, I could just as well uh, bounce it and turn. It shocks me. That was fine. Um, yeah, I'm just going to let him hit me one more time to see if he can get, get another land. No, that was not a land. So I will kill it with the class instead. Not having to waste the counter on the magnets. Um, Well, no, we didn't get a land, so I'm just going to discard this with Sphinx because it's too expensive to play at the moment. And we have the Zenith to re restock if we need to. I am going to keep that scan locked down if I can. I can start throwing away counter spells now. If he's going to try and burn me out one spell at a time, then so be it. He's got five cards in hand, so that's basically enough to burn me out, but hopefully it will take too long. As long as he's forced to use at least two spells on each of my <laughs> creatures, then this should be fine as well. 
Okay, Jace. How do we deal with you here? Um, another fast guy. Hmm. So if I get a land, yes, the right land, then I will be able to slide storm here and have Finally, I've also got the contagion fast for a small creature. Non haste. Let me see. I will. Let me. Yeah. It will. I'm just going to play Jace and start milling him. He uh, first, I guess, draw because he's going going to have to use at least two spells to get rid of Jace. And if he does, then I'm happy. Stagger shot me or Jace. Uh, yeah. So that means I'm going down to seven, and he's going to have the cards in hand. So if I tap down one of his lands, which I will. Then hopefully I can keep him off dealing me lethal damage. Mm. And next time I can play a Metamorph as a second boss Titan, and that should hopefully lock him out of this game. He's going to have to have. Uh, a land and the bolts to kill me here. Lavamancer will not do. I have the contagion task. So yeah, this is uh, just about academical. He's not going to be able to play any Spells at all, basically, from now on. Um, so, I will just keep drawing cards here because I will need to have quite a few counter spells to deal with his, uh, with his hand at any given time. Yeah, let's give it up. Uh, that was quite lucky that he didn't get. As good of a start as he could have. So this deck means that I'm going to bring in the misstep, and flash freeze, cancel is in most cases going to be too slow, so uh, those get cut just uh, straight off, and. Blue Zun Zenith. If I ever have a chance to play Blue Zun Zenith, it's probably because he's, it's too late in the game and I've already stabilized and most likely just won. Um, since they play so few lands, it, it sometimes it, it, it works to add like spreading Z's and cut them off red mana. But since he's starting, I don't see, see that as, a, as an option. If I'm starting and I and, and I get something like misstep on turn one, turn two, uh, spoiling their 
lone mountain, then it's to totally different different matter. But when he's starting, um, this is uh, this kind of uh, they aren't worth the uh, the downside of uh, basically a dead top card that doesn't deal with him right away. This seems good. Five counters. Lava Lancer, yeah. Uh, I'll just take care of that right away. And he take, took them all again as well. Um, let's just hope that he doesn't have uh, two creatures here. I do need to get my second land. Um, Okay, it's just one creature. Yeah, so that's fine. Even though it takes me down to 14, which is a big chunk, I still feel that this shouldn't be impossible. Um, I'm going to wait on the Contagion Class, try and kill something outright, uh, and have the, these counter spells instead. Uh, is that one of the other loop? I said I was going to keep the counter spells up, so I might as well use them. Okay, two cards in hand and the Goblin Guide in play. Goblin Guide in play. Great plan. Nine lives is not a comfortable life total. I could deal with a goblin guide uh, here. Um, if he's got two burn spells, yeah, I think I'm, I'm going to deal with it right away. Because Okay, it's lagging a bit. It's his source of repeated damage, and if if he's got if he's got nothing like that, then I'm that much better off. I wouldn't have mind. Uh, I, it would have been better if there had been uh, instant speed, but hey, yeah, Slagger Shock. He's got one card left. And we'll be down to seven. Uh, not comfortable, but not bad either. I can, I can actually just counter this copy. Okay, he forgot to use it. Good for me, bad for him. Okay, he gave it up. So that was mono red. <laughs> uh, him uh, missing out on that trig, I think that was <laughs> him being overly comp. Uh, he was just giving up. But uh, that's one one so far today. Uh, might not do an, uh, do this deck again today, but I will be back with some more games with this deck. I hope you enjoy.